Hello people, I hope you all are doing great. My name is Pratik and welcome back to the channel. So as you have already seen the thumbnail and the title of today's video, you might be knowing what is going to be today's topic. So today I'm going to talk about IP rating. So what is IP rating and what is the meaning of IP rating? So I'm going to explain everything in today's video. Uh, if you love this kind of content or if you love informative videos, please consider subscribing to the channel as I keep on making these kinds of video every now and then. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. What what is IP rating? Uh, you might have heard uh, in recent times or you know from 2-3 uh, years uh, there are some fa smartphones uh, you know who comes with an IP rating basically it's a dust and waterproof or protection uh, you might say so basically IP rating is uh, dust and water protection uh, rating and the full form of IP rating is ingress protection rating so what is the meaning of ingress uh, basically ingress means uh, your device uh, won't allow any foreign substance or particle to enter into the device or basically it is the internal protection of the device uh, consider it as a liquid uh, protection or a dust protection so yeah that's IP rating and as you have already uh, as I uh, already told you that IP rating we see in smartphones uh, nowadays and yes uh, IP rating is used in smartphones uh, but why there are IP ratings uh, if you uh, have seen properly there are two digit numbers uh, you know uh, IP 67 IP 68 IPX8 IPX7 there are much more IP ratings over there so what is the meaning of that numbers so IP uh, rating is basically considered or denoted by two digit numbers and the first digit in that uh, rating is for solid protection and the second digit is for liquid protection so wherever you see IP67 IP68 so 6 is for uh, solid protection and 7 is for liquid protection so now what is this uh, levels basically what is 6 what is 7 and what is like uh, ip68 ip67 ip53 and xyz etc so basically these are different types of level so if we consider solid protection solid protection has from level 1 to level 6 protections and if you consider uh, liquid protection uh, liquid protection has level 1 to level 8 so this is the uh, basic levels of these protections and uh, let let us see uh, how is each level different from the another one so let us start with solid protection first as i said there is a uh, level 1 to level 6 in solid protection so let us look at level 1 first so what is level 1 level 1 is basically protection from any uh, foreign object or any object who is greater than 50 mm cannot enter your uh, smartphone or your device for example let, let us consider like uh, i cannot insert my hand into the device right because my hand is greater than 50 mm so that's a simple example right yeah so level one is any object who is greater than 50 mm cannot enter you uh, into your device talking about level two level two comes with the protection of any object who is greater than uh, 12 mm cannot enter into the device so here i can give you a simple example of uh, fingers I cannot uh, insert my finger into the device or any object who is greater than 12 mm cannot enter into your device or smartphone. Uh, talking about the next level which is level 3. Level 3 has a protection of 2.5 mm so any object who is greater than 2.5 mm cannot enter through into your device. And talking about level 4, level 4 has a protection of 1 mm. Uh, basically any uh, foreign object, any particle who is uh, you know greater than or bigger than 1 mm cannot enter into your device so next is level 5 and level 6 so if we compare level 5 and level 6 with uh, other four levels of solid protection uh, level 5 and level 6 is much better in terms of protection uh, it, it is basically considered the higher level of protection in this uh, like level 5 comes with a uh, dust protection uh, any particle who is smaller than 1 mm cannot enter into your device or smartphone uh, there are very less chances like any dust particle can enter uh, into a device if the device is protected with level 5 solid protection so there might be some chances of uh, you know one or two particles can obviously enter into the uh, into the device uh, with respect to time talking about level 6 it is the highest protection level in this one uh, so it has a proper uh, protection from dust so not a single dust particle or uh, can enter into your device or smartphone so it is completely uh, dust protected and yes this is what uh, six levels of solid protection 
is uh, now talking about the liquid protection as i have told you earlier it has a level of level 1 to level 8 uh, and it is simple it is just you know some minor upgrades from level 1 to level 8 not minor from uh, if you consider level 8 it is a major upgrade so let us talk about level 1 in level 1 if you are uh, you know if there is rain or sprinkling of water or uh, sparkle of water from the vertical side from the top side then your device won't have any problem uh, so this is level 1 if i talk about level 2 uh, there is a slight upgrade in this one so level 2 is basically any uh, sprinkling of water or water sparkles uh, from uh, an angle of 15 degree vertically uh, so that is level 2 so your device can withstand any uh, you know splash of water from uh, or water droplets from an angle of 50 degree uh, vertically so that is uh, level 2 protection talking about level 3 it comes with a protection of 60 degrees so as compared to level 2 uh, level 3 has uh, you know if any uh, if there is any splash of water from an angle of 60 degrees your device can handle it very easily so this is level 3 talking about level 4 it comes with a 360 degree protection so there is any uh, you know splash of water or sprinkling of water from uh, any side of the device so it is basically splash proof uh, at that time and it will uh, survive any splash or uh, you know water droplets or rain it can withstand and from 360 degree angle and that's level 4 talking about level 5 it can uh, protect it against jet sprays uh, from any direction from 360 direction so this is level 5 talking about level 6 it is protected against strong jet of sprays from all the directions so if there is you know strong uh, spraying or something or there is strong water splash uh, heavy rains yes so your phone can withstand uh, 360 degrees of water splash from a strong water splash of jet of sprays from any direction talking about level 7 here things is uh, much more upgraded uh, level 7 and level 8 are much upgraded or you can say higher level uh, in liquid protection so level 7 protection is basically if your device is immersed in water uh, for example suppose i have uh, inserted or i have immersed my device in uh, water uh, which is basically 15 centimeter or one meter of water it can withstand up to 30 minutes so yes uh, your device can be immersed in water if it is level 7 protected and up to 30 minutes only not more than that so this is level 7 and talking about level 8 it is uh, the highest level in water or liquid protection so in uh, level 8 what happens is you can uh, immerse your device for longer period of time for let us consider for example if i have uh, immersed my device or the device is fallen in water up to depth of 1.5 meter or 2 meters max to max uh, and it is there for 2 hours 3 hours 4 hours there won't be any issue you might have seen some examples uh, you know uh, like some devices have fallen in water and after one or two days the devices uh, like are pulled out from water and they are still working fine so that's level 8 protection so there are no issue if the device is protected with level 8 liquid protection so this was the basic levels of solid protection and liquid protection uh, yes uh, there are some uh, things which i want to tell you which i will uh, be telling you uh, later in this video uh, now talking about what is ipx8 or what is uh, ipx7 what is the meaning of x in this one so as i told you earlier like first digit is for solid protection and second digit is for liquid protection as here you can see if there is ip x7 rating or ip x8 rating the meaning of x is basically there is no solid protection the particular ip rating is only for liquid protection that's it so ip x7 or ip x8 so there is no solid protection there is only liquid protection so if you uh, have seen anything something like ipx7 uh, ip x8 then don't get confused so that's it about the ip rating now you know what is uh, ingress protection rating and how are the different levels in solid protection as well as in liquid protection and so now you can identify that the particular device uh, like the company shows that the particular device is supported or ip rating of uh, 67 68 and many other ratings so you can identify what is the meaning of that so this was the basic uh, of you know uh, this was the basic levels of protections and uh, 
टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ मच दिस रेटिंग्स आर और डज दिस रेटिंग्स वर्क रियली इन रियल लाइफ येस दे डू वर्क द देर आर हंड्रेड परसेंट प्रोटेक्शन बट देर इज वन थिंग यू हैव टू कंसिडर this is protection this is not uh, something like uh, waterproof or you know dust proof it is dust protected and water protected so with time there are chances that uh, the device uh, will not uh, protect the dust particles or the liquid particles uh, as it was uh, at the start like if you have purchased a new mobile and it supports ip67 uh, or ip68 for example so it, these are the higher level of protection in dust protection and liquid protection so at the start even if your you know phone uh, is immersed in water or you know just fallen on the ground and it's is just covered up with dust there won't be any issue the device will be 100% protected but Uh, let us consider uh, it happens with you for 15 to 20 times uh, the compatibility or uh, the protection level which was at the start it is not compulsory that it will be the same for the 15th or for the 20th time so with time things can change so it's better you keep your phone safe uh, even if it is new so i won't recommend anyone to just you know even if your phone supports ip68 the highest level of dust protection and liquid protection so you can just go and you know i have uh, my phone is my phone supports ip68 so yes i can immerse my phone in water i would suggest don't do that even if it is protected it is for your own safety it is for the device safety so that's that's pretty much it for today's video i hope uh, you like the video if you uh, then you can hit that like button and if you have any questions you can write down in the comment section so that's it i'll see you all in the next one thank you for watching